here, please. Come on. Take a picture of the house. Look at the bulls in that corner of the house. Rosa, you try to guess how old is she? 26. <laughs> 80? <laughs> no, more? More, yeah. More than 80. Ah. More than 80, yeah. Actually, no. he looks uh, 50 for me. But... 90. Come on. Oh. Oh. She's 90 years old, more or less. Is that the she, she looks young because <laughs> she has the Inca blood that they say you. We have longevity people in the Inca time. Oh. My grandmother died close to 115 years old. Oh. And look at Rosa has a nice clothing that show where she comes from. In the Inca time, uh, now Rosa is going to show the house over there. You can take a picture, look at the skewer, the beautiful shawl, like a shawl that is made by herself. Rosa used to dye in that color, the natural uh, way, not like a plant, moss. And they boil water and get the red color from cochinilla. You know the beetle that lives in the cactus plant? Mm -hmm. It will come from the red mm -hmm. color. And they can change with lime, salt, or another product, different tones of red color. Mm -hmm. The color that you can see is the typical color of these people from the highland. She's using the spindle. When she being a child, she learned from her mother. And her mother learned from grandmother. Like the generation, they use the... This is for make the fiber. Alpaca fiber. When they make the alpaca fiber, they make a yarn, like in that, the other side. When they have the yarn, they can weave it. No, this is the, the special uh, knowledge that they learn from the Inca people. They make their own clothes. This is not a chemical thing. This is natural way. And Rosa identify where she comes from, like in the Inca times. No, it's somebody from Cusco, another kind of clothes. Is somebody from Machu Picchu, another kind of clothes. Mm -hmm. From Ecuador also. Mm -hmm. And the Inca, when they, he called everybody from the Inca Empire to Cusco for the big party called Inter Rhyming, what happened? Different colorful groups, they arrived from different parts of the Andes. Mm -hmm. From east, from Brazilian territory, from west, from the Pacific coast, from Quito, from Patagonia, they came to Cusco. Cusco was the capital of the Inca Empire. Don't get confused, Lima don't exist and the other countries around South America also. Mm -hmm. They call Tahuantinsuyo because the boss of the Inca civilization live in Cusco. Mm -hmm. In Cusco, they were all the palaces. Machu Picchu was another satellite city, very important, but Oyenta y Tambo, another important town. Why? I say you, they storage. These people storage food for the future time. Mm -hmm. Dry potato that we're going to see inside of the house for 10 years in the future. How they made it that? In cold winter, they put the regular potato that you eat in your house. They wash with water, get frost by the cold temperature in, co in cold winter. At daytime, with the sunshine, get evaporate all the water. And after a few weeks, get half size. That one, they can keep in a, in a big pot in the store houses. And then they can eat later, boiling water, cooking again the potato that they saved the life of many people in Europe. You know the Spaniards, when they came here, they didn't find on, not only gold and silver, also food for feeding their hungry families. And they can travel three months with dried potato to Europe, and they feeding all the European families, so Spain, Italy, Germany, everybody in the 16th centuries need to say to say the Inca people, thank you for feeding us, because they were in trouble. They have disease, chicken pox, and small pox. This is why from our 25 million people, we miss more than 20 million at the agricultural places, and the silver mine, and the gold mine. Chicken pox, smallpox, kill many of our in Inca people. Now we are going to see the house. I will show you the different part of this Inca house, okay? It's here. And then they say, ah, you are from the highland. This is the typical clothing from the highland. Mm -hmm. If we speak with Rosa, Rosa, Use some Spanish because she learned Spanish in this town mm -hmm. at the school. But if we speak with her now, for example, my manta can. This is not Spanish. This is Quechua language. Quechua, Inca language. Mm -hmm. Four million people in South America, Peru, Bolivia, 
Chile, Argentina, and Ecuador, they are Quechua speakers. If you come close to the corner, oh, you can see the, the guinea, pig. guinea pig house. Look at the uh, guinea pig. Hello, food. <laughs> Hello. The guinea pig yeah, yeah, no, I know. They're cute, huh? They're cute. They can be a pet. How you eat this, the animal lovers will be upset. You know that uh, in the Inca times, this animal was very important because yeah, even the we Bible. don't eat meat. Mm. We don't eat chicken. We don't have those animals that came from Europe to South America. That animal was very important for feeding our people in the Inca time. One per person. Offering. In the present time, you saw yesterday in that town where they cook the guinea pig. How they eat? Barley, they eat alfalfa. And look at in this corner, you can see the mortar. Look at the mortar right here. In this part of the house. Look this at the dry potato. What I've been talking about. The dry potato. If you Put in your house, the dry potato. Look at, pay attention, ladies. You you cook in your house or you buy from the restaurant? Yeah, look at, pay attention for the cook. This potato is a regular potato that you eat in your house. But what happened? Why is white and brown? It's because our Inca people, they made it that invention of the hydrate potato. They separate the water from the potato for two, three weeks. In cold winter, they put in a pampa grass bed, and they made it that the cold temperature frost this regular potato. At daytime, the sunshine make evaporate the water from the potato. And then this big potato get small, like this size. And what happened with this one? They use big pot for storage in cold places that we're going to see in the archaeological site. Granules, silos, no? and then for 10 years in the future, they can keep this dry potato, no problem. Don't get roots, nothing. And then, if they like to eat again this one, they boil water, and they put in the boiling water. And then they can eat again. They can keep for 10 years in the future this food that saved the life of many people of the Andes. They can travel three, four months and no problem. Like Yorkie. No, you can you can uh, find in your country Yorkie or dry fruit, the same thing. This is how they present. They still Rosa. do it? They still do or? Yes. Oh. Rosita. Hamun. Rosa is going to show you something very interesting. Look at the mortar right here, the mortar. You you know this is the ancient mortar, the stone and the table. Hamun Rosa. Rosa, take a picture because this kind of thing happen only here. right here at the house. You're not going to see Machu Picchu in Cusco, nothing like this. Because we have the last descendant of the Inca people in Ollanta y Tango. Look at me. Take a picture. Film if you like. Rosa is using the mortar. The mortar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Wait a minute. They are taking pictures. They are taking Excuse me. Take a picture. And Rosa is making some pizza. Flavor for soup. Our mothers make the same thing on the new mortar of wind, windmill, the wind dog. Look at that. They got beautiful clothes. When we're going to see Machu Picchu, I will show you some mortars as well. And they are part of the Inca city. Look at that. to the museum, you find mortars in the museum. Mm -hmm. Our grandmother used these kind of mortars as well. Okay, mm -hmm. Ross is giving to you some of these uh, potato flavor for feel how fine they made it. That one. Wow. You can touch it. <laughs> what you can make, what you can make with this? Soup. Make soup. 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 Soup? Soup, yeah. Is it, uh, we can try, we can, soup. we can taste. No, 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 no. You don't taste because it's uncooked. 
Um, they need to cook that one, both uh, the other yeah. ones, yes? This is how they work at the Inca yeah. tide, the more. It's so beautiful, because you can see the one descendant of the Inca people. I look at behind Rosa. This is the uh, reading, oh. reading uh, the writing system called oh, yeah. Kipu. In the yeah, museum. this is like yeah. uh, the microchip in the, your oh, computer, yes. no? Yeah. Um, each color, each knot means some number or some maybe production, some years. This is the enigma <coughs> of the Inca rhythm. Many people ask about how they grow in the Inca time. Mm -hmm. They grow like this. This is a secret rhythm of the Inca civilization. If one messenger bring this message to the Inca king that lives in Cusco from Quito, for example, if the enemies catch that person, that messenger, they can read nothing because they need to find who translates all this information. That was one close friend of the Inca king. That said, my father, they are sending this information from the north. They are telling that we conquer more tribes, more lands, we have more production, we have good year, bad year, we have more mines, all this information. Imagine the secret rhythm called Kipu. On who translates Kipu Kamayo, the, the master who reads all this information in Cusco and another part of the Inca Empire. <laughs> Colorful, the symbol of the rainbow. <laughs> no, look at the house. Like Peña Luna. years old. Look at the foundation. The roof collapsed because in the Inca time they made a roof with wood and they put pampa grass. Ah. And then they need to fix again. Behind you, look at the kitchen where they cook. Of course, in the Inca time, they used perfume, this is a the llama drops. Machine. The llama drops. This is the eucalyptus, this is the But this is the Inca kitchen. Look at the pot. This is the Inca pot, for example. And look at the grains right here. If you are tired, no, imagine. If you are tired and you're, you have a lover or a partner, that tell you what happened when you're tired. Come, let's go to sleep together. No, I don't like it. Eat this one, and you're going to sleep every night with your no, love because this is a Inca Viagra. They <laughs> uh, uh, need to take care of this one because like one spoon is enough. If you take two spoons, you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. This is Inca Maca. Maca. After four hours, you can see the doctor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a very special one. No? This is the way the Inca Okay, thank have. you very much. <laughs> uh, look at this. <laughs> this is quinoa and kiwicha. Kiwicha is the brother of quinoa. Huh? Maca. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's very, they sell in the drug stores. How to use it? Ah, yeah. Did you stores. smash like uh, Rosa showed you? You don't rub it You on, make though. powder and you put in your milk. Right. But I repeat, only one spoon, not two. You are in trouble. You take two, huh? No, <laughs> you're gonna sleep all night. <laughs> this, is, this is maca, maca. This maca. One. Okay, look at the, the quinoa that you ate uh, maybe in your soup the last mm -hmm. night. Quinoa and kiwicha, much proteins that you can imagine. Yeah. You know the Spaniards when they came here, they say no, we don't need that one because we eat, eat wheat or another barley. Barley. The barley and wheat came from Europe, but this one will, has more proteins. And what happened? The, the Spaniards say, no, give to, the, to our chicken. And you know that this one is for make that you become more intelligent. And the, in, the chicken, they become more intelligent than the Spaniard conquistador. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice this joke. Is Mint. <laughs> Look at jerky. No, the trout is uh, not from oh, the Inca time. No, it's from it is fish? Trout. This is a llama jerky. Look at they, how they keep their meat for travel by days. You can take a picture of this storage place and look at all the aromatic herbs that they use for cooking. The purple corn. Look at it. Chicha morada. Chicha morada. The white one you know very well, but this one is in Peru. Very popular because our mothers, they make chicha morada, that is a special drink. Very good for liver for all the urine system, for the, for the melts. No, no problem when you drink much as possible this one. And also jello, jello we can make with this one. No, chicha morada or purple corn. This is a natural no, crop, not uh, mixed, nothing. This is the variety that exists in the Andes, no, jello. There are more than 35 varieties of corn in this valley that you saw from the past. Now, take a picture. 
chicha. Look at chicha is in that corner. Look at the corn germinate in that corner. This is the ancient drink. Mm. This uh, corn oh, germinate this is, the is chicha. from this. This is the chicha. Drink. How they make this sore? Because the sore is in my right hand. They make, they wash for a few minutes and then they leave the rose the root for two weeks. When get that size, uh, that uh, corn germinate, they boil in the pot. They boil for three hours and they put some uh, uh, wild pepper, wild pepper. That one moye, they mix for make more flavor. After that, they boil three hours, they use this filter basket. This one they stay up here and the liquid goes down there. Mm. They eat for one night and the next day, they rise that stick that you saw with the red plastic. And then means the bar is open and you can go with your friend to drink that one. Oh, yes. What happened with the rest? They give to the guinea pig oh. or to the pork. He said, "Well, when you see some pork in front of the house that looks like that, <laughs> the pork is dead. <laughs> no, it's mm. why because they eat this one, and mm. this is the source of corn beer. Now look at the ancient beer of yeah. South America. But one day, yeah. in one day, they can. Do in that. one day, they can do. They can day, but they can make more days, but not. It's, more, it's strong. Oh, it's it's more strong. fermentation. Yeah, really strong. Yes, in the Inca time, they put for weeks." underground and the Inca gave to everybody for the parties and people get happy no very no uh, enjoy everybody with this corn beer the wine came from Europe and the Spaniard take control of the Inca leader with wine that was the bad part of our history no you imagine our body don't have like the European bodies to accept that color and the Spaniards do that, and they give cheap, uh, wine to every Inca leader, and this is how they kill the boss, the head, and they beheaded them. They make a trap, telling, okay, drink, and they like it because it was sweet, and then they get drunk, and that was a moment where they beheaded all the leaders. It was very bad because that was the first time that they produced alcohol in South America. Before this one, no more than maybe 1% of alcohol, this one. It's more fermenting chicha, because that make more milk for feeding or nursing the babies. No, this is very important dream that happened in the Inca time that made it all the families around this earth. Look at the instrument over there. Well, I've been talking about the agricultural places. How they work those terraces. Not mm. bull, don't get confused. The bull came from Europe, not animal for work, human work like this. Mm. The ancient farmers in South America, they use this food plow. Um, they open the ground, open the ground on the terraces, and they put the seed in that hole. Mm. They put the fertilizer products. What kind of fertilizer product? Guano and humus from the jungle. This is why they get three crops per year. Three, imagine. Now we get only one, mm. five or six months. Very lazy. But in the Inca time, three crops per year. Why? Mm -hmm. Because that soil don't get poor after the first harvest. No, they put guano, humus, and make more rich, and then grows another crop. And water and soil, good soil, get three production per year. Now mm -hmm. we're going to see where they store it in the third production. This is the food plow, the ancient farmer instrument from this continent. Incas. Pre Incas, the fur farmer, they use this one. Mm. And then, when arrived the conquest, what happened? Mm -hmm. They came with bulls. Mm -hmm. And this is for the two bulls mm -hmm. no, that they use for plowing mm. their land. But what happened with these heavy animals? They destroyed the terraces. This is why they need to change. Okay, everybody goes to the flat valley. We don't use any more the terraces. Why? Because the Spaniard use horses for supervised slaves. Mm. And they can go with the horses by the terraces. Mm. This is why they rule everybody, okay, flat. And they can be for our riding and supervising the works of this Inca farmer. Mm. The bed of Rosa, some of these textile made it by her. Look at the hat, look at all these niches around. This is like 750 years old, no? Beautiful. Here on the, on the table, you can see the old Inca torch. Maybe in the museums in Lima, your tour guide in Lima yeah. show you some of these potteries. They put llama fat here. The llama fat make fire. 
Look at the beautiful candle that they have mm -hmm. in their Inca temple. Permanent, because they have been charred, fulfilled with lama fat all the time. No, and this is the heavy hematite. If you put in your hand, put in your hand, and what do you feel? Yeah. Be careful, be careful. Take, take heavy, care. Heavy, heavy. Yeah? <laughs> take, take care. <laughs> huh? oh, yeah. Very heavy. Okay. Yeah. What, what is that stone? is a stone? I will I answer you. Hematite. A hematite. Meteor. 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 From, from the space. Yeah. All hematite from the... volcanic areas. Yeah. Huh? Look at it. You, you can feel the meteor. Hematite is yeah. from, uh, I think, yeah. famous This is the Inca, the Inca material that they use for cut the stones. Mm -hmm. Those stones very hard, like white mm -hmm. granite in Machu Picchu like red granite in Ollanta Itambo where we are, mm. or like uh, basalt in Cusco, they mm. were cut by hematite. How about mm. the Palo Santo? Yeah, Palo Santo <coughs> for purify mm -hmm. the is ceremony. Word, word, yes, the is, is it in this, this Yes, region? yes. Oh, okay. And the ceremony they use this one, and a lucerma that is some uh, humus that they humus. brought from the Amazon to here. Mm -hmm. They have many aromatic plants oh. for purify the Atmosphere. No, they were very religious people. Yeah, and what, what was this? Coca, coca. Oh, when you have been in the ceremony, the coca, they put in your hand. Coca. This, yeah, coca. look at this okay. stone. Okay. If you take a piece and put it inside of the leaf in your mouth, more effect, double. Mm -hmm. And when you walk, you can walk for, wow. for mm -hmm. hours without getting tired. No, you put more leaf, it's strong. This Somebody like kick you, nothing. You don't feel like nothing because Yemen. your face is uh, numb, no paralyzed, no by the effect of the coca. Mm. This is the plant for make cocaine. You know, ten uh -huh. kilos of coca okay. leaf, you can get one gram of cocaine. Mm. This is why they use this one mm -hmm. for get more effect of this coca in their mouth. Mm. You know, when they goes to work at ten o'clock, they are hungry. No problem, coca. Mm. They can keep going, but. Mm. Uh, bad because uh, they are using it in a wrong way because if you don't eat you lose uh, energy mm -hmm. and you need to eat mm -hmm. I remember my grandfather they took this dry coca making pieces of leaf and putting our rice or potato mm. and that had some of these alkaloids that they are good for your human being oh. but the problem is that in, the, in Europe they get the cocaine from this one Alkaloid cocaine. But there is still 14 alkaloids in this coca leaf. At the present time, some people they are making food with coca. Is it the mild narcotic? <coughs> is it mild narcotic? Yes. yes. This is good. Huh? No, don't think that this is a bad product. But what happened is the Europeans make a bad reputation of coca. And they say, okay, the Indians, they chew coca because they like to be like a, mm. by, under the effect of drugs all the time. No, this is not a drug. This is the cocaine Organic. problem. Yeah, the cocaine mm. problem. Mm. Yeah. Or here, not heater. This is the uh, uh, they have heater in the kitchen. The best place for to be in the house is in the kitchen. So she doesn't live here? So the patrimonio, this one. No? Mm. The, the authorities know that these houses, they need to be protected. Mm. 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 Okay.